Hey there, it's Micah, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your custom affiliate resources page, specifically the links on that page. And that's because no matter what your affiliate resources page looks like, typically the unique thing per individual referral partner or affiliate or whatever on each of those pages is the link. The four main parts we'll cover in this video are setting up the sign up page for affiliates or referral partners to register on, and then setting up the thank you page for after they register, or in other words, the resource page that gives them their unique link and we're going to do that in Infusionsoft and then also show you how to do it out somewhere else in PHP for example WordPress or something else and then finally we'll talk about how you could use Infusion to email people back to that same custom resources page giving them again their unique link so in each of these cases it's all about the unique link having their own unique affiliate or referral partner code the first part of the process is really basic. The sign up page setup is actually nothing more than a regular web form within a campaign and then we add the referral partner fields to it. So let me show you that. Here in Infusionsoft I have a campaign, I've got a web form in it. I'm going to go ahead into the web form real quick and you can see some fields on here. These are fields I had to drag on so let me go ahead and delete them and pull it on again. Basically if you go to field snippets over on the right there's this partners thing. That's what I pulled on to allow people to pick their own username and password and so forth for the affiliate program. There are some settings and these they've got little explanations for them so I won't go into too much but you're essentially just picking which affiliate program you want them in and then whether or not you're going to ask these questions and how that stuff works. So I'll just leave it at that and say that's how I got the fields on there. But the more important part really is the thank you page and so the web form thanks page is something that we're going to mess with and we're going to put their referral partner or affiliate username into that page so that they could then come back to that resources page over and over. They could actually even bookmark the page or you can send them back by email which we'll cover at the end a little. But let's go talk about how to get their username into the thank you page. Back over here in Infusionsoft if I go to the thank you page and I switch this back to the default which I believe is thank you page you'll have this regular infusion thing and I didn't change any of the default stuff but what I did do is I put this affiliate link into it now affiliate links typically look like your application name dot infusionsoft.com so basically the URL that you log into slash go which means it's an affiliate redirect slash page which would be the page name that's the referral partner tracking link if you will so if I go in a new tab real quick I'll show you this when I'm talking about pages and so forth, I'm, I really am talking about the referral partner tracking links and that's under the CRM menu on the green menu under referral partners. You got this tracking links thing. When you make one of these, you give it a name and you tell it, you know, where ultimately does it go, what page does it go to. So I made this test one with Google and the page I actually just called page. So over here in the example that's what that is but the tricky part is getting the affiliate code onto there and so what I did there is I had typed out this much of the link and then I left my cursor there and up here I went to insert I went to merge fields and I just scrolled down to the referral partner fields and clicked on the code because that's the field that we want in, in this link is the affiliate code now whenever you do this you gotta be really careful because this is the text of the link but I'm going to go ahead and copy the full link text because I need to make sure that the actual link address is set properly. So if I click link there and I paste that in, you can see that the full thing is in there now and I'll go ahead and hit insert update and it should be fine. You can always put your cursor back on and hit this to check to see what it was. So you scroll over to the right and make sure all that stuff looks good. And that's really all there is to including this on your Infusionsoft thank you page. When you go and test it you'll see that it merges that right into there in fact let's go ahead and test it real quick I'll just go back to campaign so I can publish that change hit publish here and you know I'll go into this thing in a moment but I just wanted to show you some of these things set up already I'm gonna test this thing by going into it and going to the code tab I'll click on use the hosted version and click to the link so as soon as it comes up I'm going to the code use the hosted version go ahead and click the link and I'll just give this thing a test. So I'll say test09 and I will fill that in on the form for everything. Got to use a valid email. Just to give you kind of an idea of what this looks like is it's going to populate the link with test09. That's the affiliate code it grabbed. And if I were to actually click this and go to a new window, you can see it uses test09 in that and it sends me to Google, which was the 
web page that we're trying to get to. So in your case, that would obviously be your sales page or your opt-in page or whatever it is that you're doing. So that one was pretty simple. We tested it pretty straightforward. And again, you could bookmark it because the link there is going to be unique per affiliate. Once they hit that registration page, there are values in the URL and the address of that link that if they bookmark, gets saved with it. So that's safe to do to bookmark them and send them back to it. Now, doing the same thing on a custom page, let's say in PHP, potentially WordPress in a lot of cases, is about the same thing. You build the same link, but instead of using an Infusionsoft merge tool to merge in the affiliate code, you use a little bit of PHP to pull in what's called the username. And it's the same thing. Affiliate code, affiliate username are the same things. Um, affiliate code is really what Infusionsoft calls it in the database. So let's go look at my example of this real quick back here in Infusionsoft back to the web form under the thank you page instead of going to the Infusion hosted thank you page we're talking about going out to a web address so I created a page out in WordPress and that's what that link is and then I checked the box to pass the person's info over the page so I'm gonna go back to campaign just so I can publish that change I'll hit publish and let me show you that WordPress page as well so here's what that page looks like and if I hit edit page going into the back end you can see that it's you know basically the same thing here's my link it's your infusionsoft application slash go slash page and then again i used a little bit of php to pull that affiliate username in as opposed to using the little infusionsoft merge thing now that it's out in this environment and i did the same thing as far as this is the actual link part of things is this piece and this piece and this is the link text right here so I had to do it twice. I had to basically take the full link and make it the link destination and the full link and make it the link text in order to get that page to look the way it does now which is you know there's the link and it will merge on whatever I put there. So let's give that a little test. Back here at my campaign if I go to edit and I click into that form again to test it I'll go to code I'll use the hosted version and click that link and I'll say this time test 10 so here's test 10, fill in the form, and instead of going to the Infusion page, he should go to our WordPress page, but it should be customized for him. So here's the same link, but now it actually says test 10. If he clicks it, it goes to, you know, it basically tracks through him, forwards through him to the right spot. And again, you can repurpose this link however you want, and you can bookmark it and then change the page. So for example, if I came in here and I said, I'm going to go ahead and bookmark this page. So I'll say bookmark this page. I'll say it's test 10 because that's my affiliate thing. If your affiliate were to sign up, hit this page and bookmark it, and then you as an admin went and you edited the page, let's say. So let's, let's say you went in and you added some nice email swipe copy, and you added some banners, and all of that stuff, you would go through and you would link in. So if you had a banner, let's say here's your image, and it was you know wherever the image is so there's your banner image all you're doing to that thing is you're wrapping it in the same link you would say okay here's my link around my image and there's the close of my link and I know not everyone knows HTML but if you do your own custom page you're gonna have to do a little bit of this stuff or get someone to do it for you but that's the basic gist of it and the point that I was trying to make there is now if I update that page as an admin so the affiliate came in and they signed up and then at some point after that you decided you know I'll add more resources well if the affiliate comes back to their bookmark you remember I bookmarked that thing if they come back to their bookmark now here's test 10 you'll actually see those changes reflected so that's the nice thing about this is whatever you do as an admin after this if they've bookmarked the page it's still there because they're gonna come back to the new page and it's gonna newly merge in their affiliate username or code or whatever and build their resources anew. So that one again is a little bit more advanced but still the same concept and the reason there's two examples here you can see the top one says username and the next one down says inf underscore username right here. The reason for that is the old system basically a legacy web form if you happen to be using one of those would do username and then a campaign web form would do this inf underscore other underscore username and like I said you can bookmark that now finally let's talk about how you would email people back to that same resources page so they signed up they hit the page let's say they didn't bookmark it and you wanted to follow up and say hey here's your page again or we added resources to it or whatever 
here's how to do that. Back here in Infusionsoft, I'm going to go back to the campaign, and I added a sequence on, so obviously there's the web form. I added a sequence, I connected them, and in the sequence I just put a very simple email. And all I really did in the email, it's actually very similar to the Infusion hosted thank you page we just messed with, was the same thing. I built the link, I put my cursor here, I went to insert, and I merged in the affiliate code, and then I made sure that was also part of the overall link, meaning that the link itself also was ready to merge in the affiliate code if you go all the way to the end. So as far as emailing them back, you know, it's almost the same thing. You just make sure and merge their affiliate code into it when you want to send it back to the custom affiliate resources page. I hope this video was helpful. I know it was a narrow focus just on how to move the link around, but I wanted to make sure that was really, really clear. You can use that link now, like I said, in all sorts of different ways to give your affiliates resources as long as it's always customized with their unique thing so they know they're getting paid. That's really the important part. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.